Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on August 3rd, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, and earthquakes from around the world, and as well disaster alerts. Starting out here, looking at our sun as we have those incoming sunspots, as well, we had an Earth facing coronal hole, which we I talked about a few days ago. And we did see an increase in solar wind speeds on our planet over 700 kilometers per second. Very interesting, very active sun right now as we have one, two, three active sunspots now that are visible. That last one firing off quite a bit there in the last few frames. Large plasma filament dancing there on the bottom left. Looking here at another light, you can see the coronal hole that was earth facing that northern latitude. And as well, we have a small coronal hole earth facing equatorial that is developing in the last few frames here. So stay aware and prepared. We could see some more space weather in the next few days. Just looking here at the Lasco 2 image as well at our corona to see anything that is coming our way and you can see there is some there is nothing really there's nothing to look at right now no space weather it's kind of hit us already and you can see here the solar winds picked up to 723 kilometers per second the density came down and the phi angle has been flipped all day long so the last 24 hours, also looking at the Schumann resonance here, just kind of a buzz. Not much to talk about really there either. Power of 12 today. Looking at earthquakes the last 24 hours as it's been pretty busy. And this whole month, actually, it has been very busy as predicted in the big old planetary conjunction video that I talked about. The conjunction that is happening right now just looking at all the earthquakes along the west coast 3.3 there california and as well moving northward into oregon and a 2.5 there to fino canada lots of activity here around fuego 4.6 and 4.3 here and that's around seven kaya peru 5.1 here south america Cajabamba, Peru, 5.1, and as well here, Chile, 5.5, and a 4.7 rang off there today. And man, is it hot around the world, very humid. I don't know if everybody's noticing this, but like so humid. It's not just hot, so much moisture in the air. Earthquake here, 2.8, reported Tennessee. Small earthquake swarm still reported in Puerto Rico. 4.6 here in Iran, 4.2 in Jarm, Afghanistan. And then across the West Pacific has been very active today as we had a pretty deep earthquake in the Tonga region this morning, 4.5, but it was a 578 kilometer depth. And pretty much right after that, we had a 5.2 and as well 5.6 Northern Mariana Islands, 4.9 as well reported and across Indonesia and as well Papua New Guinea here, 4.4 and as well 4.7, 5.0 all across Indonesia. Only earthquake reported here, Japan, 4.6. Very quiet across Russia and Kamchatka. And still minor activity across Alaska as well from 3.6 there in Alaska to Petersville. And watching minor earthquakes in Hawaii there as well in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Some notables here as well, just recently a 5.3 Bell in the Islands region. And as well 4.7 south of Africa along the Antarctic plate line. Let's have a look at the last seven days as we've had quite a few deep earthquakes recently, especially Tonga region and across the West Pacific. A few
few deep ones here in South America. But it's still very interesting indeed with all these earthquakes around the Antarctic plate. Makes you wonder what's going on down there. I'm going to show you in the five day forecast because there are some massive, massive storms. So stay tuned to the five day forecast cast brought to you by Meteor Earth. And as well, stay aware and prepared North America. We're on the verge. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes being updated. You got Popo in Mexico, uh, Fuego in Guatemala, Sangay in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, Dakono in Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Nishinashima in Japan, Cadavor in Papua New Guinea. That was reported 14 hours ago. So that's about eight volcanoes being updated in the past four hours. But as well, we have this new volcano in Papua New Guinea that was reported yesterday. And we just recently had an earthquake north of that. So this is just east of the Cadavor uh, volcano. The Lingingla. Lingingla volcano is now active with a 5.3 just north of it. Two active tropical storms to talk about. We've got Typhoon Hagubit, Hagupit, who is just scathing the China coastline right now like they need any more rain. But literally, it's just going to be raking the coastline, heading into the South China Sea, into the South Korea, North Korea. And then we've got Tropical Storm Isaias that's been heading up the coast of the southeastern United States for the past three days. And it is now centered over South Carolina and into North Carolina, watching tornado warnings and as well flash flooding conditions pop up as it heads north right along the eastern seaboard and into Atlantic Canada and Quebec. So Newfoundland and Quebec later in the forecast, tropical storm Isaiah will be right over top of you. Reminiscent, reminiscent of Hurricane Andrew days. Interesting. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth. Meteor Mike, starting here, home base Calgary, Alberta, as we have had some decent summer weather. It's been very, very warm. Not too bad for storms. But across Alberta, there has been many tornado warnings and funnel reports, and as well, a lot of hail being reported across Alberta this year. So, big system to talk about is of course tropical storm isaias heading up the southeastern seaboard here five day forecast shows it slowly moving northward and watch for a low pressure system to bring moisture later in the week for a day or two through calgary possible thunderstorms as that low pressure breaks off and heads into the middle of the prairies across central america not much to talk about, daily evaporation rains, but South America is really getting warm and drying out. Forest fires are already going nuts through, uh, across the, um, the Amazon. Five day forecast does not show any relief there. South America, it's opposite that. They're getting daily snowfalls. They're gonna be sitting at a probably three meters of snow in the next few weeks watching just these large, vigorous winter storms hammer southern Argentina every other day. Across Africa, watch for intense thunderstorms to develop across the Congo region, heading into Algeria and westward into Nigeria. Possible tropical development later in the week. We're going to be watching that in the Atlantic outlook as well. Cooler temperatures across South Africa this week as well. Watch for minus four in some regions. And of course, with all that heat in Africa, we've got a strong high pressure ridge across Europe, and that is bringing in some extreme heat conditions all across Europe, and as well, thunderstorms. As low pressure systems bring in the moisture from the Atlantic, and the storms fire up. Western India and into Iraq and Iran. Very, very hot. Watch for a tropical system to develop later in the week. Heading into the Sea of Yemen. As the monsoon rains continue to hammer 
East Indies, and parts of Southeastern Asia, of course. Three Gorges Dam being pushed to its limits right now. Thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected by these events around the world. Monsoon rains do not seem to be letting up at all. Low pressure system after low pressure system forming over the Tibetan Plateau. It's interesting, that's where they have the largest weather modification station. Just saying. Across Philippines and into Papua New Guinea, heavy rains monsoon. But watch for Australia as a large low pressure system comes in from the southwest, develops here right over the continent, and it will bring storms across half the continent here especially across the southeastern region. Watch for an extreme weather event as those really cool temperatures crash into eastern Australia. And watch for Caledonia, New Caledonia, and New Zealand later in the week to get the effects of that. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere. Notice the difference in the size of the low pressure systems definitely also notice the ferocity of them. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to smash that like button. Maybe get in the comment section. Tell me where you're watching from. Thank you. Bye-bye. And by the way, tropical storms should not be traveling to Greenland. Just saying. Don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.